Ladies and gentlemen, after all the ridiculous outfits that I have worn throughout this entire Rags to Riches storyline, all the NBA jerseys, both past and present, that I have worn, there is but one jersey I must wear. The New Jersey Nets. What? Bruh. What? I'm I'm from New Jersey. The Nets had were in New Jersey at the time, you know, and I just wanted to represent their jersey. What? Just because I don't represent your home team's NBA jersey in this series doesn't mean I don't like your team. It's just that I forgot. Okay, stop making such a big deal out of it. Jeez. But whatever, we got our outfit, let's move on to a Cinderella story, the very last tournament in the Rags to Riches series. Okay, well after that random intro, let's move on to the final diamond tournament. This episode, a Cinderella story. Ow, I just bit my lip. <laughs> you always hate when you do that, but anyway, enough with the biting lips, enough distractions. Well, I mean, I gotta go to a... Uh, baseball game soon because my family wants to go and I got like I got enough time I got an hour and a half to record this stuff that's plenty of time for me and plus we're only doing one tournament we're not gonna do this other Celtic pride tournament we're just gonna do the diamond tournament so without any further ado let's get started and you're all gonna find out just why we were collecting all that stuff for our mansion. It's a special surprise. Oh yeah, it's gonna be extra cold, all right. I'm really excited. Let's do it. Faces off against Jamal Mashburn. And some other guy, because remember in the last scene, it's gonna be a one versus one versus one game. And I'll show you guys exactly just what I mean by that, so that you guys can get the hang of what's like a one versus one versus one match but anyway let's find out where we're gonna play this tournament at well would you look at that it's my old crib look at you boy you're moving fast it's switching your gears now let's put some ice in it and take it to the diamond tier let's rock let's do it at my own crib, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we we were collecting all those mansion prizes. So as you can see, I'm going up against two people. Regular rules. It's going to be very crazy and very interesting. And I'll try to explain to it as best I can. But it, in a way, it's kind of like the NBA Bars version of 21. I got all my special abilities. I got everything. So let's get into this game. All right, come on. We've worked way too hard to not, you know, lose. I mean, to, oh boy, yeah, it's gonna be tough. I'm very unfair, as usual. Oh, this is gonna be very hard, I can already tell. So whenever someone scores, I guess the person with the lowest amount of points, they end up getting the ball. See, Jamal Mashburn, he hasn't scored any points. He has the least amount of points, so he would get the ball. We're going to have to do a lot of scoring. A little bit of styling, but not too, too much scoring. I mean, we're going to do a lot of scoring. What am I saying? Uh, I'm just trying to concentrate so hard that, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to screw this up. Oh, get that. Uh, oh, yes. All right, come on. Three-pointer. Bang. Too easy. Hey, I'll take uh, these, like, little points. I mean, well, these low-scoring games if it means I'm winning them. All right. So Davis gets the ball now because he has the least amount of points. So 
even if you score like a lot, you're not going to be seeing much of the ball. So you got to play defense in this mode. And this mode is just crazy so far. This is what the executives wanted. They wanted to stack the deck against me, but I am coming prepared. Ah, right, come on. Block. Ah. Whatever, you're still gonna lose. The lead is two. Shooting for All right, I won the round. Yes. All right, come on. What else you got? Round two. Come on. Oh, baby. Shoot the three. Ah. Oh, why am I trying to do the putback dunk? No. Yes, I'll take the charge. That's my ball. Yeah, that's my ball. That's what I was about to say. Ah, crap. Ah, from his hot spot. Dang it. All right. At least I get the ball right back. Uh, nice pass. Going up for the dunk. Ooh, or that. I did that by accident, but hey, I'll take it. All right, Baron Davis has the ball. Charlotte Hornets, who are now the New Orleans Pelicans. And uh, the Charlotte Ho Hornets are coming back. Instead of it being the Charlotte Bobcats, it'll be the Charlotte Hornets. So that's very interesting. All right, come on. Oh, my gosh. Give me that. That's the thing I love about that. If, you're, if they're backing up, you can easily steal the ball. That's my advice for this. Now we're up by one over Jamal Mashburn. Let's go up three. Uh, yes. All right, come on. Just got to survive. I will survive. Yeah, you suck. Oh, gosh. Good ball. Ah. Oh, I'll take that. Another secret shot. Bang. And I win that game. And Barrett Davis got Gucci-fied. All right, we're doing good so far. Let's see who's next. So you got three stats instead of two. And it's all green and whatnot. I don't mind which colors they are. As long as I can tell who I am. Right, Carl Malone and John Stockton, oh geez. One of the NBA's greatest duos of all time that's what you get for having the best three-point shot in the game mine's is up to a hundred in case you guys haven't have not been following the series and a hundred and a 100 rating out it out of a hundred in terms of attributes that's the best you can do on this game so I got that all the way up did the secret shot right there. I just gotta keep shooting and making these buckets. And just gotta survive. I play the best that I can. Just gotta be like Eminem, gotta be Cinderella Man. Even though that album was terrible. But in any event, <laughs> Marshall Mathers LP2 was a lot better than anything Eminem has done in the past 10 years. Let's be honest, because Encore was, well, it, it was a well, I'm just being honest, I mean, there were some good songs on it, but the rest of the album was just doo-doo. Speaking of doo-doo, that's how Carl Malone and John Stockton are playing right now, as I win that round. Alright, come on. It's so weird seeing Carl Malone and John Stockton in different jerseys. I'm so used to them having the same jazz jersey on. Well, that was the 2002, 2003, or 2004 season for you. Because this game was made in 2004. I know that. All right, Carl Malone has the ball now. Oh. So obviously some of these games might take a little bit of a while, but I'll do my best to get through them as quickly as I can. Ah, uh, almost had the three there. Get the ball, get the ball. Yes, that's mine. 
Oh. Ooh, very nice dunk. He's getting red hot. Red hot. I'll be on fire. Yes, I'm on fire. Oh yeah. Come on. Let's bring that so so Cinderella. I can't talk today again because I'm fumbling through all my words like I usually do. We're gonna be the underdog. We're gonna be Cinderella, man. A shot clock. Yes. Who's ball? John Stockton, of course, because I'm up. I know this can be confusing at first, but after a few games, hopefully you guys will get used to it. Oh, give me that. This game's over. This game's over. There is no way in hell John Stockton is scoring, is scoring 7 points in 10 seconds. I mean, Carl Malone will make that, but it doesn't matter. You want? I'll just sit back and relax, I'll be honestly, because this game is over. Yep, won that. Too easy. All right, let's move on to the next opponent. I knew it. It was Ben Wallace and no ball clears. Oh, gosh. This is going to be a free-for-all at its best. Or worse, as some people might perceive it as. But in any event, get it. Come on. Oh, get the ball. Uh, oh, God. Yes. Come on, go get it. Oh, three. Bang. I was wide open there. Everything's on the line here, ladies and gentlemen. My house, my cars, everything. And let me tell you people right now, no one, and I mean no one, comes into my house and takes my stuff. I will win this tournament and regain what's mine. I'm sounding way too dramatic, but... <laughs> and sorry for swearing, I just, I don't know. Can't think about anything else at the time. Bang! Give me the round. Alright. We wasted a lot of time, so... It looks like I'm gonna walk out of here with another win. Because look at that, they got two points, I got eight points with six seconds left. Uh-uh, no way. Oh! Unless Ben Wallace makes this free throw and somehow makes a full court shot. He still likely has a chance. All right, might wanna put my hand up. Just, oh no, no way, please. Okay, thank you, Rip Hamilton, for being an idiot. Cause think about it, if Ben Wallace would've made that shot, we would've tied those two, we would've tied the game, and we would've just redone round two. So that was a dumb move on Rip Hamilton's part. That's confusing, but. This whole tournament's meant to be a screw job. Kobe Bryant is up next. Let me guess. Shaquille O'Neal's gonna be the other man. I, I just know that's gonna come up. Alright, come on, bring on bring on Shaq Diesel. Yep. What a surprise. Huh. Three pointer. Cash money, let's go. Almost did not go in there for a second. I know this is not the most exciting way to play this tournament, but yeah, you know, with me just shooting the ball all the time, but it's the best way to win. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to win this tournament. I'll do some style moves though. Don't worry about it. Bang! Give me that. Boom! Take that, Shaq. You're too slow. You're big and you're tall, but you're too slow. And you can't shoot free throws. That rhymes. And you can't handle the ball. Oh. Okay, I'll stop. Three pointer? Yes! Bam! This tournament might not be so bad after all. I'm the ultimate underdog, and they're trying to stack the deck against me, but I'm playing well so far. Ref, that was a foul. Yep, there's the unfair part about this tournament. Bang! Dunk delicious. We're all leaving. Ah, crap. What the heck? Wow. He just smacked the ball out the atmosphere. 
Oh, I thought Shaquille was going to block that for a second. Oh, man, I was about to say. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kobe. Come on, Lord of the Rings, Kobe Wan Kenobi. Shot clock, shot clock. That's Shaq's ball, actually. Ah, can't get too excited over that. So, Shaq's feet are so huge. It's ridiculous. Oh, what the? I didn't even mean to do that, too. Ah. Nope. Ah. What am I doing? What's my guy dribbling the ball like that for? Ah. Who cares? I'm surprised I'm playing against Stefan Marbury and Kevin Garnett. I was kind of expecting um, Marbury and Stoudemire or something like that. Or one of Stoudemire's next teammates, but I don't know. I guess because these two were in the All-Star game, I believe, at that time, so. Eh. Kind of weird, but whatever. Or maybe they were teammates at one point. I'm not, I'm not totally sure, but... I don't know. It doesn't matter because I'm being these two. Shutting them out so far. Give me the ball. Ah, screw you, KG. I hate you. I'm not going to lie. These games get a little bit more difficult each time. Oh, I didn't realize it was tied. Whoops. Now it's really tied all the way. All right, come on. Gotta do something incredible here. That's something incredible right there. Getting off the nice stunt dunk. Oh, he's gotta throw up a shot. Oh, I block it, no! Oh, yes! Yes, I won the game. Yes! Yeah! What's up? Yeah! Uh, uh. Yeah! Alright, come on. Please make a three. Thank you. It took 42 seconds for someone to finally score. Play against Dirk Nowitzki and Steve Nash. Former teammates. Great duo, not gonna lie. Oh, that was a foul. Oh, what? No. I pressed the X button twice by accident. No way Steve Nash can block Dirk. In real life, obviously, too. No way that would happen. It's a free for all. Three. Bang. Uh, pressing that X button. I can't do it. I'm too tired. Ah, uh, it hurt my hand. But that didn't. Stunt dunk. Ah, uh, never mind. Nope. Ah, oh, what the? Oh crap! Let it go. Let let it all happen. Doesn't matter because I won. I won that round. Bang! Oh my gosh! Screw you, Steve Nash. Give me that. You're too little, Steve Nash. Too muscular for ya. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'll take that. I'll take it. For shizzle. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. I'm dominating out here. Get that. Ah. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll take that. And I'll take that three. Oh, my gosh. Steve Nash, you are such a... When you go to the bar, Steve Nash is getting all the ladies. You're getting nothing. Because it's Steve Nash. I mean, he, he's got that thing of a jing about him. It's, the, it's a European thing. I'm not sure what it is. Ah, crap. Come on. Want to end this? Yes! Oh, wait. 
Okay, Steve Nash ball. All right. Hey, that doesn't matter. Move on to the next guy. Yao Ming and Steve Francis. I totally forgot Yao Ming. Apparently, Yao Ming wants his rematch. Well, he's got it. This is really... This might be the toughest out of the duels that I've faced so far. Because these two are no joke. But I'll take those threes. I'll take them as, me as much as I can. Give me that. Ah. Uh-oh. Yao Ming's trying to back down. Uh-oh. Oh, give me that. Ah. So much craziness. Gotta keep taking those shots, though. Eventually, they'll go in. Ah. I got my self fooled on. Oh, that was a charge. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. All right, Yao's ball. Three to nothing to two. It's about to be six to nothing to two. Ah, got ahead of myself. Oh, give me that. Yes. Come on. Oh, block. Three pointer. Bang. Too easy. Let's go. Come on. All right, come on. Please. Yes. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Uh, get that out of here. Bring on the next opponent. Uh, I was so unsure I was going to make that three. Oh my gosh, that was such an amazing comeback. I was down three to eight. I hit a three. And then you saw the other three at the end. Two threes in a row. I am the three point master. Ray Allen, eat your heart out. All right, well, let's see who's on next. 